Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. A royal author has claimed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex only told their childcare worker the full details of the destination once the flight had taken off. The destination chosen by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for their announced six-week break from royal duties started in mid-November 2019 was so secret they didn't even inform their nanny where they were going until their plane had left, a royal author has claimed. An upcoming Bonchill book focused on royal courtiers and their relationship with the firm includes claims on the events taking place before Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced their decision to step down as full-time working members of the royal family in early 2020. In an edited extract from his book, Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown, the Times royal correspondent spoke of the Sussex's trip to North America made three years ago. Making claims on the secrecy surrounding this break abroad, he wrote, When Harry and Meghan went to Canada for their six-week break in November 2019, their escape plans were already laid amid the greatest secrecy. Meghan would not even tell their nanny, Lauren, where they were going. According to one source, she did not know where they were going until the plane a private jet, was in the air. Express.co.uk has contacted representatives of the Duke and Duchess at Arkewell for comment. Reports Meghan and Harry would take a long break with their son Archie Harrison from royal engagements first emerged in late October 2019, with a source saying at the time they would take some much-needed family time. On November 14 of that year, a spokesperson for the couple confirmed the young family was going to spend the winter holidays with Meghan's mum, Doria Ragland, rather than with members of the royal family who traditionally gather in Sandringham over Christmas. However, they did not say where they would spend their break. The location of the Sussexes was only revealed in the run-up to Christmas, with a palace spokesperson releasing the following statement on December 20, 2019. As has been reported, their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are spending private family time in Canada. The decision to base themselves in Canada reflects the importance of this Commonwealth country to them both. The Duke of Sussex has been a frequent visitor to Canada over many years, and it was also home to the Duchess for seven years before she became a member of the royal family. They are enjoying sharing the warmth of the Canadian people and the beauty of the landscape with their young son. Meghan and Prince Harry returned to the UK in early January 2020, when they paid a public visit to Canada House in Trafalgar Square, London, to thank Canadians for their warm hospitality during their winter break. One day later, the Duke and Duchess sent shockwaves through the country as they announced their intention to step back as full-time working members of the firm and carve out new progressive roles for themselves within the royal family. Their outlined plan would have seen them no longer relying on taxpayer funds in the form of the sovereign grant in a bid to lower the public scrutiny. Rather, they would have become financially independent by striking their own deals. At the same time, they wanted to continue to represent the Queen and the Crown through royal engagements and tours. They also spoke of living between North America and the UK, with the aim to raise our son with an appreciation for the royal tradition into which he was born while also providing our family with the space to focus on the next chapter, including the launch of our new charitable entity. Prince Harry discussed the terms of his and Meghan's exit from the firm during a meeting with the Queen, Prince William, and then Prince Charles in Norfolk, later dubbed Sandringham Summit. The Duke and Duchess were not allowed to pursue their half-in, half-out solution. In the spring of 2020, Meghan and Harry, after completing their last official duties, bowed out of the firm as working members and relocated to California with Archie. As a consequence, they can no longer use their HR styling and had to return their royal and military patronages. In turn, they are now free to struck financially profitable deals and pursue non-profit work in the fields they prefer without the constraints set by the firm. So what do you think guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.